Today we're going to read Who's Going to Eat That Bite? Making Mealtime Fun Again, Bite After Bite. Papa and his three grandchildren gathered to enjoy a delicious lunch he made just for them. On each of their plates were slices of apples, carrot sticks, cubes of cheese, peanut butter and honey sandwiches, and glasses of milk. After several minutes of nobody eating the food, Papa wondered how he could make this a fun game to clean their plates. Hey kids, said Papa, who's hungry? All three of the grandchildren, Abby, Mary, and Wesley, said, We're not hungry. Papa said to the grandkids, Look at that hungry clock on the wall. It doesn't seem to be making a tick-tock sound. Doesn't it look hungry? With a puzzled look on her face, Abby said, I can get a bite for the clock. Abby took a bite of the apple slice on her plate and said, the clock is eating my bite. Papa said, I see the clock chewing the bite and can hear the tick-tock now. Nice job, Abby. Immediately, Mary and Wesley took bites of their apple slices and shouted, the clock is eating my bite too. Next, Papa pointed to the gold plate hanging on the wall over the fireplace and said, Look at the gold plate on the wall. It doesn't look very shiny. Doesn't it look hungry? After thinking a bit, Mary shouted, I can get a bite for the plate. Mary took a big bite of her carrot stick and said, The plate is eating my bite. Papa said, I see the plate chewing the bite and can see the shine coming back to the plate. Nice job, Mary. Quickly... Abby and Wesley took bites of their carrots and shouted, The plate is eating my bite too! Looking around the room, Papa noticed the colorful picture hanging on the wall and said, Look at the picture on the wall. The colors aren't as bright as they usually are. Doesn't it look hungry? Wesley shouted, I can get a bite for the picture! Wesley took a bite of cheese cube and said, The picture is eating my bite. Papa said, I see the picture chewing the bite, and the colors are getting brighter. Nice job, Wesley. Quickly, Abby and Mary took bites of their cheese and shouted, The picture is eating my bite, too. Papa noticed the piano player on the shelf and said, Look at the piano player on the shelf. He isn't playing a song. Doesn't he look hungry? Abby, Mary, and Wesley all said, We can get a bite for the piano player. They all three took big bites of their peanut butter and honey sandwich and said, The piano player's eating my bite. Papa said, I see the piano player chewing the bite and he is playing a song on the piano again. Nice job, kids. Abby, Mary, and Wesley all whispered together and then shouted, Papa, Look at the thirsty white dog on the shelf. Her tail isn't weighing. And doesn't she look thirsty? Yes, I see, said Papa. How can you help her? Abby, Mary, and Wesley all said, We can take a drink of our milk for the white dog. They all took big drinks of milk from their glasses and said, the white dog is drinking my milk. Papa said, I see the white dog drinking the milk. And now she is wagging her tail again. Nice job, kids. Papa looked at each of the kids' plates and they were all empty and they all had big smiles on their faces. Nice job, Abby, Mary, and Wesley, said Papa. You ate all your lunch, drank all your milk, and fed everyone else in the room. 
Who ever knew lunchtime could be so fun? Well, we hope you enjoyed the reading of this book. This is a great book to share with kids of all ages. This is a great game to play when you're at home or you may be in a restaurant or having a picnic outside. It's just a fun way to engage everyone, enjoy yourself, and before you know it, the plates are empty and everybody is full and everybody had a great time. This book is available on both Amazon and Barnes & Noble. You can also get it at the Foggy Noggin Brewing Tasting Room on Saturdays. That's in Bothell, Washington, if you're close by, and you can get a copy and you can get it signed and personalized. Hope you enjoyed the book and everybody have fun.